What up, Heart Squad? Today, I'm opening every booster pack ever released in Pokemon history. Starting off with Fusion Strike and, of course, ending at the OG, the original base set. But before we get into it, this is a sealed Ultra Premium Collection box. The ones that come with the gold in Pikachu and Charizard. If you would like a chance to get this, stay tuned to later on in the opening to find out how. Very, very awesome box. Now, before we get started, I also wanted to take one moment to say I am currently raising funds for mental health awareness. There is a link in the description below. I'm trying to get to $1 million. I'll speak more on it later on because I want to get right into this. But if you can, share either this video or share the cause and consider donating if you are able to only. I appreciate the support. Everybody, are you ready? I am, because this was very, very expensive. Let's get started with the first pack. Sword and Shield, Fusion Strike. Now, if you follow Pokemon currently, or if you don't, as we get into the Lena Hart trademark patent, it gets the energy, psychic energy. There has been lots and lots of sets throughout the years. I'm proud to say this also includes the side sets, the special expansion sets, pop series sets, as we get an Oricorio. So there goes the first pack. Next up, we have Celebrations. Um, pretty much opening up only one per pack per set, excuse me, just so we can keep it moving because there are lots and lots of packs to get through. But I truly hope you stick around. This was celebrations in honor of the 25th anniversary. <laughs> and just like that, I'm so nervous because these are, you know, right now, the newest sets that have come out, like Evolving Skies, Fighting Energy, very nice, Pat's on back. And later on, we will be opening up some of the most expensive and rarest packs in history. Um, so stay tuned for that as we get an Entei holographic. Very nice. Then we have Chilling Rain. So obviously, we're going in reverse chronological order today. Gonna be a lot of fun. Lots of packs to get through as the code just flies away. Fire energy. I'm not revealing the code because I don't want to reveal to y'all if there is something good or not. All of the packs were just either from my personal collection or I personally purchased from various sources. Battle styles. And I will, of course, slow down once we get to some different sets that require more explaining. I just figured right now, since they are the newer sets, as I'm about to sneeze, I was going to say fire energy. Um, for the most part, I think we all know some of the chase cards, or if you've been following, sorry, I don't know. It's all the dust on this stuff, and make them a sneeze. But in any case, I wish everybody also happy holidays, Merry Christmas, as we get a colossal holographic. Um, we're already at Shining Fates. Well, kind of. We're, we're moving at a good pace. Uh, definitely, guys, I really have to say, take this in. Take this all in, fighting energy. What we are doing today, together as an amazing community, the Pokemon community. Uh, we're opening up every single pack. And if you're uh, familiar with my channel, as we get a Rillaboom holographic. If you're familiar with my channel, we have been doing this series. My friend Nick, how you doing Nick? He's been on the channel before. Uh, to be continuing on that. Guys, I still haven't pulled the Rainbow Hyper Rare Pikachu. This is our only chance in this opening, I believe. So let's see what we can do. I just wanted to say that. Now back to what I was talking about. Lightning energy. Um, Nick and I have been doing a series. Actually, we even did this last year. We just divided it up for charity where we raised almost half a million dollars for mental health. Guys, we have a million dollar goal and the search continues. We have a million dollar goal this year as we get it to Champion's Path. Of, of course, you want the Charizards from this. That's pretty much it. And I could really use the help with trying to get there. Uh, and we'll keep on getting more into it. Fighting energy. But it's just... Nobby! 
take it all in of what is happening of every single pap pack pap pappy and lichen rock holographic every single pack is being opened up i don't know how many more times i'll be able to do this it's becoming more i bottle these packs uh to do something special for y'all lightning energy especially during the holidays right now and for an amazing cause mental health don't let go grimer so please sit back get your favorite beverage because oh my gosh we out here pulling beautiful cards pokemon breeders nurturing look at that gorgeous card i do have sleeves believe it or not we'll put that thing in there all right to move on let's get into Rebel Clash, finishing off shortly the Sword and Shield series. Of course, Brilliant Stars will be coming out. Metal Energy. Brilliant Stars is the newest Pokemon set. No den. Coming out in early February, so not too far away. Get excited for that set because there's some beautiful cards in it. Sword and Shield base set, Golden Zacian, Golden Zamazenta is what you want to pull. Let's see what we can do it. Um, Lightning Energy, very nice, Pat's on back. I'm also very excited because then we're going to be going into Sun and Moon. And of course, Fairy Energy is now back on table for the guests the energy today. Pinkerchin and a Whimsicott. So what a hyper rare has been pulled. Let's get into Sun and Moon. Cosmic Eclipse, of course, Charizard and Breaks in Hyper Rare is the card you want to pull. Fairy Energy, let's go. Okay, so there's just so much to talk about today as I'm one. I also just want to say, Whimsicott, I want to say I'm truly grateful. I'm truly grateful to be opening up even a set like this. Hidden Fates is a beautiful set. Shining Charizard, anybody, or Shiny Charizard. Let's see what we can do. It's been a while since I opened up Hidden Fates. Fairy Energy! I'm just grateful to be here today to be opening up these packs for such an amazing community. Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Eevee, Ekans, and... AG Giovanni's Exile! Beautiful card. I love it. I love it a lot. And then we have Unified Minds, which honestly came out, had a Hyper Rare, Mewtwo, and Mew, or has it, and Hidden Fates came out soon after, and people kind of forgot about Hidden Fates. Not this guy. Psychic Energy. So let's see what we can do in Unified Minds. I thank you all for being here today. Murkrow, Eggs, and Yavelto. It's bacon. What's for dinner? Now we're hitting a set that's very near and dear to my heart. And broken bonds. Charizard in Resh is the best. It took me a long time to finally pull it, and I pulled it in the library. Yes, that's a video here on the channel. Please search library Pokemon Leonhardt Fairy Energy. There it is. Patch on it's like it's meant to be. But let's see what we can do. Beast Bringer, Inke, Coolio, Drowsy sitting in a tree. Love it. Cubone, Crabrawler, and Crobat Holographic. Well, we got lots of hollows today. Next up is Team Up. Now, Team Up has a card I have yet to pull. Sabrina, Full Art Trainer, my favorite gym leader of all time, Lightning Energy, and I still have not pulled it. Knit Arena, Koshmog, Ponyta, Grimer, Pan, Charizard Reverse, very nice, and Mandy Buzz. Next up is Lost Thunder. I think it has Natu. If we get a Natu, everybody, you gotta stop what you're doing and pay attention because Fairy Energy, you gotta yell out the words in the two, how do you do, all right? Sudowoodoo, Blitzel, Slowpoke, Larvitar. I skipped over a Bruxish. Carbink, and don't worry, Pyroar, nice looking card. There will be a chance for more, make sure everything is recording. Now we're getting into one of the sub-series sets, Dragon Majesty, Ultra Necrozma, Gold. I love gold. That's the card, or one of them, I'd like to pull. Psychic Energy. Let's see what we can do. 
like I said, to keep it going. I have just one of each pack. Some may have two, but we will see. Druddigon for Alligator Holographic. Moving on to Celestial Storm. Hyper Rare Rayquaza. I have not pulled the Hyper Rare Rayquaza from this set. Yes, that is the top card from the set. Surprise, Lightning Energy. So let's see what we can do as we have plenty of Sun and Moon to go. Trico, Voltorb, Sneeze, Seedot, Gulpin, Torchic, and a Sceptile. The search continues. Then we have Forbidden Light. One of the more least popular sets. It does have some nice cards, but the, the set we're about to open is definitely a heavy hitter. Leaf Energy. Let's go. Sligu, Frogadier, Porter, Berg, Scatter, Gumi, Dupider, Frufru, and a Beast Ring. All right, so we pulled the Mr. Beast Ring. Next up is Ultra Prism, Cynthia Full Art. I just want to pull that for everybody right now. So let's see what we can do. Dark Energy. There's Rest in Peace Fairy Energy. Well, we don't need to say that anymore for the rest of this opening because it's back until it goes away again. Cynthia. Well, we back. that counts. Technically, that counts. Next up is Crimson Invasion. Everybody's absolute favorite set of all time. Sarcasm aside, Leaf Energy, there are some very nice cards in this set. Full art, like a Haunter. Shellos, Bunnelby Loves the Puddin, Swineup, Mankey, Carablast, and a What? We just hold a Gladion card in an opening recently. What are the odds of that? Beautiful. So a Full Art Trainer has been pulled. All right. Shining Legends. Oh, the next couple sets are beauts. Absolutely. Mewtwo Laboratory, Hyper Rare Mewtwo, or Shining Mew, Fighting Energy. Let's see, you are guaranteed a holographic in this special subseries set. Voltorb's Pissed at the Sun, Pirate Litten, and Raikou. Okay. Now it's a set you want to be ready for. Burning Shadows. Took me, I think, a year and a half to finally pull. The Hyper Rare Charizard, one of the most beautiful cards ever, Lightning Energy. And I not only pulled it here on the channel, it's on my popular series on the front page of my channel, you can go watch it. I pulled it again the next very day, after going a year and a half. Metapod doing something to a tree, and Malamar, Evil Disney Queen. Alrighty, my friends. We have Guardians Rising, and then Base Set Sun and Moon, Double Colorless Energy Secret Rare. Leaf Energy, that is the number one card you want to pull. Altar of the Moon almost looks shiny for a sec. Sandy, Dabbing Machop, Chansey, Hala, and a Lycan Rock Full Art. Beautiful. Overall, I will absolutely take these pulls. Uh, you just don't know what you're going to get, especially out of the older packs, because you can weigh the older packs. None of these packs are weighed. Uh, Fire Energy. So... It makes it, you know, that much more exciting to see what we can get or did Leonhardt just, you know, spend a lot of money for no reason. Cloyster, before we get to the next subseries, X and Y, if you would like a chance to get this, this is a sealed ultra premium collection, just so you can see what it comes with. That's, yeah, it comes with the gold Pikachu, the gold Charizard, tons and tons of packs, more golden cards. Simply subscribe to this channel, Leave a like on this video, and out of all the packs, what is your favorite set of all time? For your chance, I'll respond to your comment probably in about a week just to give people time to watch this. So there we go. Good luck, everybody. Let's continue with XY Evolutions. Need I say more? Originally released in 2016 when Pokemon Go came out. No more guesses of the energy. Let's go, Charizard. Secret Rare. Surfing Pikachu, Da Misty! I forgot about that. Misty's Determination, Charmander, Diglett, Drowsy, Caterpie, and a Mew Holographic. All right, very shiny, very nice. This is the one time I will say, let's just have some fun opening up Pokemon cards. There, okay, I said it. Now let's get into some Steam Siege. Nuzleaf Challenge. Gardevoir, Spiritling, Klefki, Clauncher, Fletchling, Merrill, Hoppip, Sneeze, 
And, oh my gosh, that is the worst off-center card ever, but waiting, Gardevoir EX. Very nice. God, look at that. From up there to there. That is one of the worst centered cards in the world. I have to just keep that in a special pile. Next up, we have Fates Collide. Mega Alakazam EX Full Art. May not be the most valuable, but it is one of my favorite Pokemon cards of all time from the XY series. If Pokemon Fan Club has a full art in this set, then that is one of my favorites. Carbink, Fennekin, Riolu, and Ridiculous, Ridiculous. Now we have just gone, we have just gone back five years, celebrating the 20th anniversary of Pokemon Generations Pack. I remember Jolteon EX being the number one card from the set. Oh, there's not even a code card. I guess it's just three. Let's go into it. Uh, Radiant Collection, I think, is in this set. So Floral Crown, Clefable, Machoke on Michael Jordan's Sweat, Meowth. Was that Slowpoke a reprint from Team Rocket? I never noticed that. Or at least, I mean, it's been a while since I've opened it. The reverse. And a Deancey, but wait! A Doug Trio. So a Radiant Collection Deancey with Disney's Castle below it. So not too bad. All right. Now we're getting to some, I will admit, I always thought these were not the most exciting sets, but honestly, some of the full arts and secret rares and breakpoint and breakthrough are beautiful. So let's see what we can do. Maybe get one of the Mewtwo's, Ducklet, Trubbish, Shelter, Drowsy, Perugly, and a Caesar EX. I'll take it. I'll absolutely take it for sure. So breakthrough is the next step set. We are currently in the XY generation. No guesses of the energy. Haunter, Letter, Biplop, Magnemite, Noibat, Ralts, Skidoo, and Aromatisse, non-holographic. All right, it's time to go for that hoop. There it is, XY Ancient Origins. It's actually a decent set. Not one of my favorites. The next one coming up. One of my favorite sets of all time, and you will know why very shortly. Lucky Helmet, Gumi, Beldum, Unknown, Boltoy, Cottony, and Ancient Origin, or Ancient Trait, excuse me, Metagross. Here we go. Roaring Skies. Once again, everybody, stop what you're doing. If we pull a Natu, you gotta yell out. I don't care if you're in the library, even though it's winter break. You gotta yell out the words in the two, how do you do, however way I say it. Steven, Pikachu, Mucha Halucha, Eggs, Taylo, Electrike. Well, we got a pair of car keys instead of a Natsu. All right, next up is Double Crisis. Grodon, Kyogre. Those are some of the best ultra rares in the set that you wanna pull. This is a subset or special expansion, as I probably just did the card trick wrong. Agron, yay! So we got a hollow. Very nice. I'm gonna go ahead for sake of completion, show you all of the cards in what is a very, very cool set. I remember when this was out in stores and I never bought it, and a Team Magma Grunt. So that was Double Crisis. I apologize, the card trick is different sometimes, but we are back. Next up is Primal Clash, Primal Clash. Got some fresh water. Metatite, Drillbur, Shroomish, Meryl, Corfish, Shroomish, Grodon. There's the Grodon. Then we have Phantom Forces. Now, I think this is the set that has... Is it? Is it in this set that has the Silver Zekrom? If we see something very bright and shiny, then we just made an incredible pull. Otherwise, we got Shauna of the Dead, Chansey, Pooch, Finian, Helioptile, and Yanmega. Non-holographic. Next up is Furious Fist. Full Art Lucario is my favorite card from the set, so let's see if we can pull that. Training Center, very cool looking card. Full Heal, Tyron, Torchic, Lickitung, Eevee, Noibat, Skorupi, and a Slacking Holographic. Nice. Then we have another big hitter set that is XY Flashfire. Any Charizard, specifically the secret rare one, or I think there's like two of them at least, but the one with blue fire. If we get, just look out for blue fire, okay? Sligoo, Rap, 
Center, The Thebes, Pissed Off Pidgey, Flybaby, Helioptile, Centret, Dusknor is a reverse rare, and a Mega Kangaskhan EX. Very nice. All right. We're at X and Y base set just in time or a little after. It still works. Christmas Tree Xerneas. Gracing the cover of that specific pack. Let's see what we can do. Lots of packs to go today. Shauna of the Dead of opening up every single pack of Pokemon ever released. Zora, Venipede, Great Ball, and an Arbok. All right. Now we're on to black and white. Don't forget, guys, chance to get a sealed ultra premium collection box. Subscribe to this channel. Leave a like. Let me know what is your favorite set out of all of these. Let's get into legendary treasures it's been a while since i've opened up this set you can just you can just get mega packs mega pulls whatever the words are in it like this they're kind of out of order for this set curlia plusle that was a radiant collection i believe trubbish miss magikarp mewtwo holographic whoops Toxic Croak is the non hollow rare, and there is, I believe, the Radiant Collection. I'm sorry. Eevee with the hearts. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. So, a Mewtwo holographic has been pulled. Next up, Plasma Blast. Let's see if we can get any of those ultra rare full arts. The Plasma sets that we are about to be opening right now, starting with Blast, have some of the most difficult pull rates. Let's see if we can defy, not this time, if we can defy the odds. Obviously, I believe it's Plasma Storm that has the Secret Rare Blastoise and Charizard that are some of the most sought after cards, so I'm excited about that pack. Here's a beautiful Vaporeon, Eggs, Hootie and the Blowfish, Dratini, whoop, there it is, Beldum, Nidorino Pissed, and a Nidoqueen. All right, and here we are at Plasma Storm. Here's our chance, our one chance to see if we can get, hey, it's Kevin Durant. If we can get an Ultra Rare. I believe there's a Lugia Ultra Rare as well too. Purloin and, or we get nothing. A Clefable, I do like Clefable. Next up is Black and White, Boundaries Crossed. Pack art is absolutely phenomenal. What's even better is the cards on the inside have beautiful artwork. So let's see if we can get one of those full arts from any of these sets because they really are beautiful. Valaby, Ash, Mianfu, Tangula, Krogunk, and Belossum. All right, special expansion time. Dragon Vault. Five additional cards. I believe it's the secret rare Kiram that we should be on the lookout for. Also, Ariquaza and Dragonite, all of the cards have holographics on the inside. Uh, so let's see what we can do. Axew. And there we go. A beautiful Dragonite is the rare. That's so crazy. I just pulled that recently in a video. EXP share, just so you can see them all. So very, very nice. Next up is Dragon's Exalted. Lots and lots of incredible cards in this specific set. As, uh, soon enough, we will be done with the codes. We're, we're going back in time just for my Leonhart 90s pop-up shop, which is happening next month here in Dallas, Texas. If you don't know what that is, as we get a beautiful eye, basically recreating a card shop from the 90s and early 2000s. Don't sleep on this set, everybody. Dark Explorers, beautiful set. Um, and uh, for my personal collection, I am donating personally half a million dollars worth of vintage product. Instead of just keeping it for myself and hoarding it, I, hey, rare candy, nice. I am letting people across the world have a chance to attend and open up the packs. Scyther in an Entei EX. It's gonna be crazy. The entire venue uh, I'm transforming I don't even know how many tens of thousands of square feet of venue I'm transforming into the original Pokemon Red and Blue uh, games, like the Kanto League. Stay tuned, guys. They'll be live streaming there. There'll be content there, all here on the channel. So 
definitely be sure to subscribe. Stay tuned for that. Shinx, Ice Cream, Fungus, Blitzel, Riolu, Shift Tree, Non Holographic. Coming to the end shortly as we get into noble victories of the black and white. And then I will say from here, like shortly from here on out, it's, I don't even know what to say. We're going to be going with Call of Legends. And from then on, like you better get your beverages. Very nice Kiram reverse rare and Kobolai in holographic. Well, that was nice. It's always nice to pull a hollow in one of these older sets. Emerging powers. Uh, I think it's just some of the legendaries that you want to pull. I'm forgetting if it's Thunderous and Tornadus or uh, somebody else. I don't know exactly. I've pulled them countless, countless times, but those are the best cards from Emerging Powers. I'm excited, but we got black and white base set coming right after Levini, right after this. Black and white base set. Uh, I think Resh, Zekrom, no codes in this set. So that is it, my friends. I believe there's no more codes from here on out. Plus Power, Pignite, Energy, Snivy, Timber, Ducklet, Emboar, and a Maractus. All right, my friends. Are you ready? Let's just get straight into it. Call of Legends, one of the best subsets, I think, in history. Let's see if we can get one of the Shinings, one of the shiny Pokemon. Yes, there's a Lugia, Rayquaza, Deoxys, Ho-Oh, Bird is the Word. There is tons! Hopefully I did the card trick right. That was a Call of Legends pack. From now on, please, please, just revel in this beautiful artwork. Mareep, Relicanth, and a Cleffa. Nice move. Eek. Like, beautiful artwork of Call of Legends, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Triumphant, there are something called legend cards, which take two cards, you gotta place them together. Kind of V Union cards took inspiration from, hopefully we get one of them. That would be crazy to get more. Also there's prime holographic, or excuse me, just prime cards. Those are the ultra rares, like EX cards eventually in this set. Machop, Electrode, and a Celebi holographic. Beautiful. I'll take it, man. The whole point of this is just to display the absolute majesty of history of Pokemon from such talented, beautiful illustrators. I was almost going to do the guess the energy, then I was like, ugh. I was saying it's amazing art, then I'm like, eh, but Flower Shop Lady, Doe Duo, Houndour, Pineco, Houndour, Unknown, Haunch Crow with a Sonic Chaos Emerald. Then we have Heart Gold Soul Silver Unleashed. And then we have Heart Gold Soul Silver Base Set, which is my favorite out of the all the Heart Gold Soul Silvers. I really do think a lot of these sets are slept on. Beautiful sets. Hopefully now you can see just how beautiful the artworks are in these sets. Not too! How do you do? You better have said it, guys. Numble Lucario. That's okay. We have Heart Gold Soul Silver base set. My favorite pack art with Bird is the Word. And then we are getting into Platinum. Platinum sets coming up shortly after this. Full Heal, Professor Oak's New Theory, Donphan, Chikorita, Staryu, Mareep, Chansey, Jinx, she's seen some stuff, I guess. Reverse and Furret. Guys, I'm really sorry. I'm trying here to Trying to get some good pulls, but they're out of my hands. All right, now we're up to Platinum Series, starting off with Platinum Arceus. Obviously, Arceus is how you pronounce it, everybody. You've heard it here. Actually, I'm just basing it off what they said in the movies. That's what it was in the show, that was in the movies. Um, let's see if we can pull an Arceus, a secret rare Arceus. I bet we do, I bet we do. Ghastly, Burmy, Beedrill, Dome, Kabutops Reverse Rare, beautiful. And, well, I lost my call, but that's okay because the next set, anybody wanna pull a Charizard? I'm ready to, I'm ready to. What about you? All right, starting off with Cynthia's Guidance, Manectric, Ninja, Cherubi, Starly, Magnemite, Pikachu, Jih! 
Togekiss and Honshkro non-holographic. That's okay, because this beautiful set, Platinum Rising Rivals. Now, I'm trying to remember if this is the specific set that had reprints of the base set Pikachu, of Surfing Pikachu. A lot of people don't know, unless it was Platinum Supreme Victors, but I'm sorry, there's just a beautiful Gengar card distracting me. No, just lots of packs. Um, you know, obviously, throughout the years, there was, there's was there been reprints as a beautiful Raichu card. Man. Then, we have just gone through all Platinum. Now we're at Platinum Base Set. Shaman Ultra Rare is probably my favorite from this set. So let's see if we can... We're due. We're absolutely due. One, Lucario, Carnivine, Mightyena, Skitty, Perugly, Lotad, Torchic, Slackoff. Cacturn and a Torterra non-holographic. That's okay because we are at Diamond and Pearl with Diamond and Pearl Stormfront. A very, very beautiful set, which I'm excited to get into right now. Pokey Draw Er Plus, Cyclone Energy, Starly, Pikachu, Magnemite. Voltorb, Combi, Empoleon Reverse Rare, not bad, and Magnazone Holographic, yes! Hey, I'll take it at this point, okay? So we got some hollows pulled as we get into this beautiful pack. I'm saying beautiful so many times, this really is. I can just sit here admiring the artwork. Three cards! Uh, don't forget, guys, please consider donating to the Mental Health Awareness Charity. Link is in the description below. There are so many things that you have a chance of getting, like a free ticket to my 90s pop-up shop as we get into Diamond and Pearl Majestic Dawn. Uh, you can get a free ticket to my pop-up shop. And guys, there are so many other creators that have been part of this that are also personally giving out stuff to those who donate. Guys, I'm telling you, um, I've never seen such generosity and there's just, I really want to try to get up that donations. None of it goes to me. It goes to, uh, Nami, Manaphy, and, uh, <laughs> okay. Reverse holographic. None of it goes to me, but that's all I'll say in it for right now. It's just near and dear to my heart. This cause and Nami is an incredible organization, the National Alliance on Mental Illness. I believe this is great encounters as we have a Mac Cargo going up. Mount Everest, Trico, Porygon, Weasel, Mankey, Drowsy, Clamperl, and a Milotic, non-holographic rare. All right, I'm just gonna say, this set, Secret Wonders, was incredibly difficult for me to find in purchase. I don't know why. I'm guessing, because I just forget the pulls. It must have such incredible pulls, which we're clearly gonna get right now, unknown, Fampy, Grimer, very nice. I love Squirtle, it's my favorite Pokemon of all time. Shroomish, Doug Trio, Reverse, Rare, and Electivire. Well, I'll take that Reverse Rare. Next up is Mysterious Treasures. Legendaries, anybody? Those would be, there's a Secret Rare card, Trainer card, which is the Secret Rare, and then there are the Legendary cards to pull. So let's see what, if we can get one. That would be very much appreciated, actually. Vulpix, Buizel, Gibble, Typhlosion Reverse Rare, and a Meganium Holographic! Yes, I love the holofoil pattern in the back of that. Next up, Diamond and Pearl Base Set. Then we're getting into some very special packs, including one which is very expensive. Well, these are all very expensive, but one in particular. Machoke, Unknown, Magnemite, Electabuzz, <laughs> looking over LA or something. Ghastly, Turtwig, Starly, Lucario Reverse Rare, and Machamp Non-Holographic. We are here at the Pop Series sets. I am opening up every single Pop Series set. Yes, that includes Pop Series 5. These were part of the Pokemon organized play in the mid 2000s, I believe from 04 to 06. Two promo cards, one energy card in this specific one. Take these all in, especially Pop Series 5, because, uh, well, you'll see. I'll tell you. Goodbye, Chimchar. Just like that. And then 
because these were part of the EX series sets, which include gold stars, which are some of the absolute rarest cards in the world when it comes to Pokemon. Chimchar, Happiny! Yay! Not all of them include, as we do have doubles of Pop Series 8, not all of them include energy, so I'll just say lightning energy for this one. Is it, or unless it's all metal energy. Super Mario, lots of Chimchar. I hope you all selected that for your Pokemon. Next up is Pop Series 7. I will say these have absolutely beautiful artwork for the uh, pack art, including Pop Series 3, which we will be opening up shortly. Centret, just like that. So we haven't pulled anything crazy just yet. Uh, let me just show you. Very, very nice Pop Series 6 pack. These go by so fast. So much Chimchar in one opening. Pachirisu. Hey, there we go. Pachirisu's a rare. Well, we have another chat uh, chance at a Pop Series 6 right now, so let's see what we can do. Bidoof and Lucario Rare. Very nice. Well, here it is, my friends. Pop Series 5. You know from Celebrations, that Gold Star Umbreon reprint? This, my friends, is the original set where it came from. Extremely difficult to pull because you only have two chances. Here we go. Wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. Oh, I can't believe I just opened up that pack. Hey, very nice. Pikachu. And Charmeleonaire. So there we go. That was Pop Series 5. Pop Series 4 has a beautiful Deoxys on it. And then, soon enough, we will be getting to those EX Series packs, which have a doesn't care Pidgey on it. Here we go. So look at this. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Pop Series 3 pack art. Next up is Eevee. And a Ditto! Interesting. Creepy Mr. Mime Ditto. Oh. Here's Pop Series 2. So out of all the Pop Series packs, definitely above all is, wait, is Pop Series 5, which we just opened up. Fanby. And then last but not least, we have a Series 1 with Blaziken pack. And that will have been the Pop Series. People were asking me if I was going to open it. And I was like, yeah, of course I'm going to be opening that. that. And a Quessle. Those are a bit, um... Those were a bit like faded. All right, let's get straight into it. EX Power Keepers, everybody get your pickaxes ready because it is time to go searching for some gold star Pokemon. And of course the card trick is only two cards for these sets because of licensing issues. <laughs> Carvana, na na na. But stay tuned, look at the reverse holographics because, oh, it's mesmerizing me. Psychic Reverse and a Cradly Holographic. Well, that was very nice. A little two for one special. Next up is EX Dragon Frontiers. I believe this is where the Charizard Gold Star and Mew Gold Star are. Let's see what we can do in this set. There's a card you may have seen before because it's been reprinted very many times. Copycat, Talo, Natu, how do you do? Dratini, Trap, very nice, Mr. Stone's Project, and Mantine Non-Holographic. I'm excited about this specific set. EX Crystal Guardian, Celebi, Alakazam, Gold Star. I just haven't opened up much of EX Crystal Guardians. There's also a Blastoise. There's also a Charizard Holographic. We want the Reverse Holographic, either of those. Shoop, there it is. Whismer, Bulba, Electrike, Lotad, Spiro, Trico, and there's Blastoise. So a beautiful looking Blastoise, non-holographic. Make sure everything is still recording because we got some heavy hitters right now. EX Holland Phantom. Let's us see if we can pull. There's also EX cards in this set. More on those to come. Professor Cosmos Discovery, Magikarp Army, that was a little sticky there. Torchic, Pidgey, Eggs, Corfish, Armaldo Reverse Rare, beautiful card, and a Multi Energy. So in a Maldo, Armaldo, excuse me, is the card from that. Next up is EX Legend Maker. One of the more 
least popular EX series sets, but just revel in this React energy. Okay, maybe not the most appropriate one to start off, but Trap, Ralith, Cdot, Magnemite, Skitty. Very nice, reverse rare. Spinda and Gorbice. Very nice, I will take it. Next up is EX Delta Species. Gold Star, Grodon, Kyogre, maybe Metagross? Kind of forgetting, sorry about that. At this point, if we somehow pull a Gold Star in this opening, I'll go crazy. Volby, Weedle, Switch, Pooch, Ditto, Slow, Matang, and Starmie. non holographic Another set which I had a hard time finding is EX Unseen Forces. That was kind of difficult to get. It's not the most valuable, but... Well, it might just be after this video. Bayleaf, Houndor, Pupitar, Eevee, Oddish, Slug, Curse Powder. Very nice. That's beautiful. And Ursaring Holographic. He wants a big hug. I promise you it's safe. Then we have EX Emerald. Well, there are no gold stars in this set. The amount of beautiful EX Ultra Rares, which are very hard to come by, unless we can get lucky. Love Disc, Torchic, Pichu, Spoink, Sceptile Reverse Rare, and Chimeco. I know there's like one big Chimeco fan out there. Shout out to you. Guys, really stop what you're doing. EX Deoxys. If we can somehow pull the Gold Star Rayquaza, that is by far the most valuable Gold Star and one of the most difficult, if not the most difficult to pull. Shall we continue? Plusle, Matang, Slackoth, Duskull, Talo, Staryu. The reverse is a Jirachi reverse rare. And Kariyama EX. Man, oh man, it's about time I use some of these sleeves. Look at that combo. So a uh, ultra rare Hariyama EX has been pulled, including the Jirachi reverse rare. That was a doozy. Well, we're opening up every pack, right? EX Team Rocket returns. Gold stars back on the table. Mudkip, Torchic, Treak. I did three cards. Well, Hopefully I fixed it there. Dark Arbok, Pupitar. These packs are uh, very rare at this time of Pokemon as we get a beautiful Dark Falafi and Dark Sandslash. They just, Pokemon wasn't as popular at the time. So um, as we get into this, we want a Charizard, EX, or Blastoise, or Venusaur. There are secret rare legendary birds as well. Articuno, Moltres, Zapdos. Um, but we, oh, I love this set by the way, especially the pack art. Um, so there really is not that many print runs. Like, these sets are more rare than Wizards of the Coast sets. And we've I've confirmed that with previous Pokemon employees. Cubone, Squirtle, Switch is the reverse, and Tangula Non-Holographic. All right. Legends of the Hidden Temple, EX Hidden Legends. I believe there's no gold stars in this set, so... Let's see if we can get lucky with a little Celio. What's the dealio? Shoop, there it is. Voltoy, Jiggly, Zubat, Staryu, Loudrid. That's a gorgeous Ninetales with the Zelda mountain in the background. And that is the rare. And I'm so sorry, guys. I completely skipped over the reverse Loudrid. All right. Uh, the next few sets, like this Team Magma, Team Aqua, I just haven't opened up much of this. So I'm trying not to take all of these sets for granted, whether they're the new ones or especially the old. Hey, it's the Claydol! That was in the newest uh, ce uh, celebration set. Jigglypuff, Pooch, Cubone, Celio, Reverse Rare. Look at those graphics. And Mighty Yenna. So a Reverse Rare Celio, not bad. All right, so. This next set, EX Dragon, also one of the most difficult packs that I just, it was very difficult to get. 
This is probably my sleeper set in entire Pokemon. Uh, yes, there are Charizards in this set. <laughs> Sorry, I did that wrong. Vibrava is, I think that's the non-holographic rare. Well, that was very anticlimactic. I'm very sorry about that, guys, as we now have apparently a Nummel parade. Unless, unless that means a Dragonite! Oh my gosh, I take it back! I take it back, we just pulled one of, if not the very best cards in the set. A Dragonite EX. Oh my gosh, please be no factory lines. I don't see any factory lines, guys. I noticed when the reverse, sometimes when they put an extra card like this, I can't believe that. And this is in beautiful condition. A Dragonite EX has been pulled. My goodness. Well, that was a good set as we get into Darude Sandstorm. I can't believe that. My goodness. No! Is this mean it again as we get a reverse rare Pichu? Not too! How do you do? Root Fossil. Ekans. C Dot. Psyduck. Anorith. Lily. Oh, that was it. Oh, so the card trick was a bit different, making sure we're still recording and everything. So this is from 2003. This is the first set that Nintendo and Pokemon Company took over. Pokemon Company USA. First set that has EX series cards in it. Or EX Ultra Rare, excuse me. I don't even know if I'm doing the card trick right at this point, but let's just get into it. And then we shall see. Sceptile. I'm happy about that Dragonite EX, guys. That makes me so happy. Coffee fee. Delcaddy holographic in a completely random spot. Curlia Marsh Tom. So a beautiful Delcaddy holographic card. Well, my friends, you know what time it's for. All of the rest of the packs are from Wizards of the Coast. Please, your chance at an ultra premium collection box sealed with the gold cards. Subscribe, leave a like on this video. Let me know out of all these packs, what was your favorite today? Gonna respond on your comment. Skyridge. The rarest Wizards of the Coast pack other than a first edition one. Oh my gosh. You can put Shadowless there too. Crystal Charizard or any of the crystals. Let us see what we can do. Nine cards. Oh, this is my favorite set of all time. I'm, I'm cringing because it's a very expensive set. Noctow, Relic Hunter, Teddy Ursa, Magikarp, love it. Okay, Poliwag's seen some stuff. Seal. Lydian Holographic. All right. Wow, look at the moon. And Jigglypuff is the reverse. And a... Okay, a Macargo on Mustafar is the non-holographic rare. But I am immediately putting this beautiful holographic card in a sleeve. There we go. All right. I can't believe that just went by too fast. But next up, we got to keep going with a beautiful Aquapolis. Crystal Lugia. I have never pulled a Crystal Lugia. There's more than Crystal Lugia in this set, but that is what I'd love to pull for y'all today. We have a is he Moonwalking Falafi, Energy Switch, Mareep, Sneasel, Slowpoke, Drowsy, he's in a tree, Cubone. Oh, the reverse is a Memory Berry, and. Umbreon! Beautiful card! I'm putting that in a sleeve, my friends. Umbreon is the non-holographic rare. Next up is the final of the E-Series sets, Expedition, Aquapolis, and Skyridge that I'm just opening up now. We're in conjunction with the E-Reader set. Also, the final set 
that Wizards of the Coast made back in 2003 with Skyridge. Goldeen, Cyndaquil, Charmander, Abra, Switch, it's kind of cool, and Darkness Energy. That's okay. All those cards are beautiful, and get ready. Legend, wait for it, Dairy Collection. Reverse Charizard. Reverse Charizard. I'm saying it three times because that means we'll pull it, okay? Voltorb, Bill, Magikarp, Potion, Psyduck, Golduck, Psyduck, Seal, Dugong, Golem, and a Rapidash is the reverse. It's just an uncommon, but I will put that over here. So, now we're getting into some super juicy. First edition Neo Destiny booster pack. There are shining Pokemon in this set. And of course, they're usually in the lighter packs. Now, none of these were weighed, but it makes it just extra fun because we don't necessarily need, as it's just three cards, I believe, we don't necessarily need. Uh, we have more chances. Light Wigglytuff, Houndor, Energy Amplifier, Psyduck, Dark Octillery, Mareep, Remoraid, Growlithe, Unknown, Man, and an Unknown G. That's okay. That's okay, because we're moving right into first edition Neo Revelation, Shining Magikarp, Shining Gyarados. You saw Shining Magikarp in Celebrations recently. I think it's three cards. I'm sorry if I do it wrong. Pokemon Breeder Fields. Stantler. There's also a holographic bird is the word, ho-oh. Quillfish, holographic Entei. Geodude, Skiploom, Shuckle, Murkrow, and a Magneton holographic. I'm sorry, my voice. It's going away. There's a swirl. Look at that swirl right there. How about that? A Magneton First edition Neo Revelation holographic has been pulled. All right. Then we have Neo Discovery, guys. I'm sorry I didn't have a first edition of this one. I know. But Umbreon, Espeon. I have not pulled the Umbreon holographic before. I didn't even know the card trick for this one. It's probably three, but it could be different. So I pulled Espeon a multitude of times. But Umbreon is the number one card in this set. Weedle, Unknown. Creepy Eevee, Cypher doing chores. I take it back! I take it back, my friends! And Espeon Holographic! The best card! No, oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! It is still an extremely difficult card to pull, and we have pulled it again. And that's beautiful centering and condition. Espeon Holographic has been pulled. We have been surprised and surprised left and right. Can we get a Lugia? Can I get a Hallelujah? Can we get a Lugia, please? I guess it's three cards. My goodness. Murkrow, Energy, Oddish, Marie, Momo Milk, Swina, Cyndaquil, Stantler. Ledian, Clefairy, and I guess there was the rare in there at some point. I'm sorry. Y'all were probably screaming at me, and I knew that was going to happen. Of course, Murkrow. I thought that was it, but I wasn't sure. All right, we still good? Blaine's Charizard, anybody? Coming down to the final packs of opening up every pack, and just like that, uh, then we are done. Uh, again, gym challenge. Look out for the rare at some point. Like right there. Brock's Doug Trio. Sorry about that, guys. I'm not going to do the card trick for the next one. There's just two different for these specific packs. There's Misty's Tears, Brock Sand Slash. All right. Gym Heroes. Lane's Moltres and Sabrina's Gengar. Can we somehow get lucky from this Gym Heroes? Next up is Team Rocket, Magnemite, Abra, Charmander, Flo, Golding. Ratata, and they, I'll take it! A Lieutenant Surge! 
Non-holographic trainer card. Executor and a Sabrina Slowbro. I'll take it. Actually, I'll put it over here. All right. Next up, Team Rocket. Step on down. Oh, my puppy Archie's in here sleeping. Y'all probably saw him walk behind me. All right. It's not just the Charizard, obviously. There's Blastoise, Dark Dragonite, the best card of them all, Squirtle Common. Let's see if we can pull it. Slowpoke, Raticate, Mankey, Voltor. I just want a Squirtle to let you know how much I love it. Sleep. There it is! <laughs> you know, guys, I really just have to say, this is my absolute, if when people ask me, what's your favorite card of all time? This is it. That's it. I love Pokemon. The memories that I make with this, the, the memories and friends that I've made along the way, like that's what it's about for me, guys. Um, that's what it's about. I'm like, I'm about to cry, jeez. Uh, here comes Team Rocket is the non-holographic. I'm like seriously about to cry. Okay, base set two. Charizard, Venusaur, Blastoise, anybody? Let's see what we can do. At this point, I'm just hopefully my cameras and every, oh, I did the card trick wrong. I'm just hopefully uh, hoping the, what's it called? It's still recording at this point. Jinx, Retrieval, Weepin' Bell, Spiro, Nidoran, Staryu, Switch, Abra. Pokemon Trader is the non-holographic rare. All right, not too bad. Guys, we have just three packs remaining. One final time, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video, let me know out of all these packs, what was your favorite for a chance to get a sealed ultra premium collection box. And of course, as we get into a long stem fossil, I wanna see a Dragonite once again. I thank y'all so much for joining me today. And of course, consider donating to the charity below in the description. Should be three. I don't think there was too much change up from Fossil. And of course, Jungle. Cruel, Golem, Geodude, Grimer, Energy, Horsey, Ammonites, Ekans. Did I pass it? Oh no. And a Hitmon Bruce Lee. Not bad. One of my favorites growing up. And then we're down just like that to two. Jolteon. I actually just pulled a holographic Jolteon in a video on the channel very recently. When you're, under, when you're done watching this video, guys, be sure to check out the end screen in the white eye because uh, I'll leave some all heavy vintage pack openings that I've done just like this past two weeks for y'all to go watch. And if you want to see the previous time I've done something like this in full, it will also be there, butterfree. <clears throat> Eevee. Execute. Cuba, I'm losing my voice by the time this meow. Venonet, Rhyhorn, Pikachu, and a holographic Pidgeot. My favorite jungle card growing up. It wasn't the Evolutions. It was a simple Pidgeot holographic. <clears throat> also a beautiful card. It really is. Lots of room for print errors too in factory lines, but it actually is in great condition. So I'll take it. And then there was one, the set that started it all. I truly have had an amazing time today. No matter what we pull in this final base set pack, I am grateful. I am appreciative. I think it's like this. And without further ado, Professor Oak, Machoke, Magmar, <clears throat> Onyx, Ghastly, Abra, Drowsy, very nice Squirtle, Energy, Energy, and a Venusaur Holographic to end things off. What a way to get some last pack magic with a beautiful Venusaur holographic card all righty then i hope you enjoyed this video guys if you want more click on those right now my name is leonard stay awesome stay positive and as always i'll see y'all next time